we fell out of love like shooting stars came crashing down and we're building back up again now I'm just gonna do my first impressions of the makeup, try it on. So I'm gonna start off with her primer. Okay, here's the bottle right here. It is called Soft Matte Pro Filter. It comes out like this, really creamy. And I'm just going to put this all over my face. The primer is very moisturizing, so it's not drying at all. It's supposedly supposed to be giving me a, a matte look. It says soft matte. So to me, it gives me still some shine. And my face is normally oily slash um, combination. So I'm oily all in here and kind of dry everywhere else. Okay, so our next step is going to be her foundation. This is her Pro Filter Foundation. I have the color 390. What I um, will say is that you do have to go to the store and try the, founda the foundation on because I was looking at a lot of people online watching their videos and the color goes on one color and then it sets down to be another color so it um oxidizes one thing you do have to do is shake this up before you use it and you have to use it fairly quickly so i'm going to go section by section and the brush that i will be using is my artiste oval 8 brush Um, I will say that I can still see my pores, um, but that's not a problem for me. Um, it's not like I have huge pores or anything like that. It's just that um, I can see them, but honestly, this is the best filling foundation that I've worn in a long time. This foundation is very light on my skin. It is moves with my skin very well um it's not like i see any cracking or creasing or anything like that usually with a long wearing foundation it's usually very thick very um hard to move and as you can see this foundation was very liquidy and um i like that some people did not like the fact that the foundation was so liquidy, but I loved that part. I loved that part of the uh, foundation. The product that I'm going to be using is by Chanel. It is the Brow Powder Duo in 50 Brune, and it looks like this. And I will be using this color right here. And I will also be using the Chanel brush in number 12. So I don't go too dramatic with my eyebrows. This is usually what I do on a daily and this is usually how they come out looking every time. I'm starting off with the color Caramel. It looks like this. And I'm going to blend it out with the 275 by MAC. This is the ambient lighting pal powder in um, radiant light. And it's this one right here. Okay, here is the hard part for me. So this is how everyone else was highlighting and um, I want to do what I saw them do and hopefully it will work out. I'm going to take my Oval 7 and blend out this highlight and it looks smooth and beautiful underneath my eyes. I don't see any cracking or anything like that so I'm loving this portion. 
and you would think that this would be like oily or something like that because it is a cream that's at least how I thought of creams but it actually is very um dry matte but soft and beautiful this is where I'm gonna change it up and I am going to put some liquid concealer and this is my Tarte Shape Tape in the color tan so I'm gonna put that there and kind of let it dry a little bit and while that's doing that I'm going to go in with my contour which is in the color truffle so I'm gonna start out with a small amount I just don't like stuff that makes me have to take my time because I don't have time like that in the mornings. Okay, I'm gonna try to blend it out with my Oval 4 brush. I think this is an Oval 4. I can't really see. And see, when I use my powders, I can like that get those on and move them around where I like them and stuff like that okay so let me go ahead and uh, do my under eye okay the last thing that I'm going to contour will be my nose now I will be using my uh, Laura Mercier powder I usually mix mine with the medium deep and the translucent and so it comes out and looking like that and I usually like to do my under eyes as soon as possible I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills contour uh, kit and the color espresso to go ahead and put a uh, contour on top of my powder contour on top of the cream so now what I'm going to do is use my lower Mercier candle candle glow sheer perfecting powder and this is in the number five and it looks like this and I'm going to um, blend all of this to blend my contour and highlight together I can't really tell in this lighting I'm going to be getting new lighting soon you guys but um, I think I did a pretty good job of blending it out and I'm okay with this I'm going to go ahead and um, put my mascara on okay it is a Chanel mascara don't remember the name of it but let's go ahead and put that on my lower lashes I am going to put on my blush and I will also be using a Chanel blush and this is in the color reflex it looks like this it's a beautiful color I will be using my brush my Mac 150 brush And like I said before, I love putting on blush. I love putting on a lot of blush. Okay, so now what we're going to do is our last product of this trio is use the highlighter in rum. It looks like this. It is a very golden, beautiful goldeny color. And I'm going to make a C right here and that's where I will be highlighting it and probably a little bit down there and from what I could tell this is very light beautiful and if you can see it is not something that sparkles a lot it just looks like a glow from within kind of thing okay and I don't know if you can tell I put it right here and right around there and then on that side as well 
and I am going to blend this out using my MAC 135 brush. I think that's what this is called. All right, you guys, here's the finished look. I hope you like it. Um, my only challenges was the color of the foundation. Um, I don't know if you guys can tell, but there is a uh, difference between my face and my neck. My neck is more yellow and my face is more orangey and I hate orange foundation. I just really do. But other than that, this is a go. I love it, love it, love it. It feels like nothing is on my face even though I have a ton of product on. My only challenges are with the matchsticks and that is only because I don't know how to properly use them yet. But um, from what I did use, I got a clear contour. I really, really do um, like the look of it. I just don't know, haven't um, figured out how to perfect um, using the product just yet. And uh, the highlight that I did do with the matchstick was gorgeous. You can't even really tell I have highlight on, but you can because you can see exactly where I put it and it looks like my skin is just glowing. I really love that about her makeup Guys, line. Until next time, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye!